music then? <laughs> Cindy's awake early today. Ah, not really. I mean, it is 12 now in the afternoon. So not necessarily early. But we are starting early for Theo today, who is hopefully also coming around. But, you know, so Theo can watch. Also, there is the charity reminder if anyone wants to take part in that. The, the Twitch our, eh, subreddit community does want to eh, raise money for the San Jude Children Hospital, which is a pretty good cause. And we have already started it, and I think we're at $50 reduce right now. And I have been okay, Nielsen. How have you two been doing? But yeah, this is Nintendo Labo, which is, you know, memed as being 70 dollars dues for cardboard. But I would like to remind everyone that the seven, $70 dollars dues come from this little thing. The software. Most of it. The cardboard is like, you know, anything extra there. So... <laughs> Just just a reminder for anyone who was in, uh, unsure about that. It is not just cardboard. But I am super excited for this. Like, Nintendo Labo, the moment I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I want to stream that. <laughs> like, just instantly, oh my god, I want to stream that. Because, you know, creative stuff and all that. It's, it's pretty nice. Been having ups and downs mostly. Oh, I hope more ups than downs. But yeah, basically how this is gonna go down is we are gonna unbox all of this. I already opened this once. I haven't like taken anything out except for this little thing. It is already in the Switch. It had to configure something for the Joy-Con, so you know, getting the loading stuff away with that. Today you're having ups? I'm glad to hear, Nissan. But yeah, I also tested if my uh, colors would work with at least this testing cardboard over here. Uh, I have learned that my highlight sticks won't, but my other colors will. <laughs> so, you know, testing out things in advance, pretty good. But yeah, getting started. What are we? Erste Schritte. You guys probably don't want to me to read that in German. Where is the English version? Uh, well, I guess getting started is the English version. Make the Toy-Con accessories, play games and discover the new world that is waiting for you. This little piece of software will show you how. Which is exactly the software that we have already put into our Switch. Take out the software. Step 1. Start it up. Step 2. And build with the video instructions. However, we are not gonna start building with the video instructions yet. Because we are gonna first take things out and look what we have here. Getting started, cardboard. <laughs> Pretty important, I would say. We have some... All kinds of things here. There we go. All kinds of um, little rubber bands. And a little bit of yarn or whatever. I, I guess that's not yarn, but some kind of rope. And stuff. And things. And there's some shiny stuff. And... Yeah. Actually, that's foam. That black stuff over here is foam, it seems like. And there's the reflective sticks, what they need to make out a lot of things in the softwares. Which, I mean, this is the little gadgets. Here we have Cardboard A, which from what I can tell, oh yeah, this one has a little man over here. I, think, I don't think you guys can see the outline to bell. Here's the, you know, the, the legs and stuff like that. Um, I guess this is like the extra cardboard that you can use to make some stuff. I don't think this is from any of the sets. Although that looks like the like the roof for the little little house later on. Bloop. <laughs> and then we have I can't even make out what cardboard this would be. Then we have this. Uh, apparently it's for the robot. Oh yeah, this is for the robot. It has the little legs over here. And it has the little thing. Yeah, this is definitely for the robot later on. I say robot. This is not the robot variety kit, but the actual variety kit. But you know, you know what I mean. The little mousey thing. This seems to be for the fishing rod. And yeah. There's the B for the fishing rod. So basically these are 
put out to be like A, B, C and all that in the order of what you need them to be when you start making it. Which is, you know, pretty good. I'm of course gonna mess around the order because I'm kind of taking a look at the different kind of cardboard pieces here first. This will be very interesting. Oh, that's the house. That's the little house coming together. The house has the most. The house has like D right now. Yeah. They're, they're pretty well color coded. I think we're gonna have a good time finding all that we need. I hope. So far. But eh. Let's, let's let the thing happen. Which is the software. Because it did say start up the software and then start building. Eh. So let's see what the software is telling us to start building first. I think we can take off the music in the background for this because I think before I started the stream I made sure that it actually captures the the sound of it. Hopefully. Enough so. Hey, Gravitary! Here now! Lovely to have you here now, sweetheart. Labo! There's some closer close-ups for you guys. Now you guys know where where you are. <laughs> Apparently, we are gonna start by making things. That is hearable enough, right? I think that's hearable enough for you guys. I, Like I said, I recorded some of this. That's why I took the software out of the, the packaging before I started. To make sure that uh, this will record right. But yeah, let's see how it actually will. We are gonna start making. Let's First, let's get a bit of practice. Okay, what kind of practice are we getting here? Yep. Getting closer there. Welcome to Nintendo Labo! <laughs> it's in front of my face, but that's fine. Let's start with some make practice. Hold forward to make the video play. Release the button to pause. This is how you make the Joy-Con holder. Cool. Hold forward to make the video play. Alright, so apparently we are testing out the Joy-Con holder first. Which is on... Wait, did I put the one cardboard away? Oh god, did I already mess it up? There it is! Which is on this one. Where we have to learn to make a holder. What Labo item did you get? Variety! This is not the robot. This is not the robot, because uh, I think I'm... Well, I mean, I think I'm the size for the robot, but still. Hold forward to make the video play. We are apparently taking this cardboard out of here. Right here. This one. Bloop. I think while we're not working on the other ones, we could put them away for a little bit here. Make sure that we only have the cardboard that we're actually working on. Bloop. Go away. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Whew. And there we have the cardboard that they told us to take. Okay. Um. Okay. We'll use the other pieces later. In the meantime, keep it stored away in the box. <laughs> All right. Let's let's put store them away in the box while we're waiting. Since the video told us so, let's store them away in the box, shall we? There we go. And shall we pretty closer to you guys again? Okay. It's a good idea to keep the console charging while you build the toy gun. Just plug in the AC adapter. <laughs> good. We're not gonna do that, though. Yeah. Uh, that's the screen with one finger. You can rotate the camera by moving it around. Okay. Cool. Nicely done. Thank you. We are learning how to build things, apparently. That's the screen with two fingers. Um, apart them to zoom in and out. Okay, thank you. Does the screen with two fingers and slide to move the camera in any direction. Huh, interesting that it has to be with two fingers. 
And you can reset the camera by touching the reset button in the lower left corner. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> now then, let's get building. Keep checking the image on screen to make sure your creation matches it. Okay, so I'm gonna actually put this away for now. Um, hold on. Didn't the, la the switch have... Yes. I never use it, but now I could actually use it. <laughs> da da Yopala. Careful, we'll take a look at the front and different but side facing down. Okay, the front side is facing down. Apparently, we were supposed to also at some point take these out. I just noticed. There we go. Bloop. And... Yeah. Uh, to pull the key to building a great Doi-Con is to fold firmly along the fold lines. Uh, always check where the fold lines are. Okay. Well, I see the fold lines. Let's uh, continue to actually see how it folds. You want to uh, crease. Crease the folds first before actually building each piece. It makes everything so much easier. Okay. <laughs> Really? Was it music, then? How did that go? Like, how did that go down? Okay, we're greasing the fold lines, as they told us to, which is basically folding along and seeing how that goes. Grease, grease. I think I got most of the fold lines now. There we go. All right, our fold lines are creased. Uh, if you do it right, the folder piece will stand up on its own. No worries. It doesn't straight. Doesn't stand perfectly straight though. Okay. <laughs> you can't pattern such na natural gestures. Well, I'm kind of glad that that's the case. That would be a little odd otherwise. Although I don't know if they're really that natural. There are lots of fold lines. Yep, there are. I'm just kind of letting it. Show us the fold lines on this one right now. Okay. They started folding it in this direction. I think. And this part is called the tab. Right here. You couldn't have a toy con without tabs. So show them some respect. Alright, we will show the tabs some respect here. Right there. Um, I guess I could... In theory, zoom in too for you guys. Uh, you guys just tell me if you want to. <laughs> Aw, I'm sorry to hear, Neeson. That's... That's lousy. Very sorry to hear about that. You holding up okay? Okay. Here's the toy con so far. Forward. Uh, insert the tab into the opening. Wow. Really? Okay. There we go. Tab into the opening. Yeah, I feel like I could. Just worried. That's understandable, Neeson. I hope everything goes alright with that. And nothing bad happens. There we go. Then we fold over here. And... Tab it in. Okay. Wow, look at that! I made a holder! Are you guys proud of me yet? I do feel that we need to zoom that in a little bit, huh? Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like that could be a little better if it's zoomed in. Oop. Sort of. <laughs> You're sort of proud of me? Well, good enough. Good enough for me. There we go. Now you guys are a little closer to whatever is happening there. Save. Eh. There we go. <laughs> Ta-da! And then we're letting the tutorial go on. The Joy-Con holder is complete! Now all we need is the Joy-Con. Have you got your Joy-Con right ready? Come here. 
All right. Make sure to push the Joy-Con all the way down. You'll see the button through. Okay. Eh. Our Joy-Con is nice and cozy in its little holder. Also very grey. Yeah, I think I think it was the right one, yeah. Perfect. Done. Now we're all done practicing! Yay! Wow, this is the best game ever! <laughs> well, I mean, this isn't a game yet. This was just practicing building, you know? So that you get a handle on how the video works and everything. I don't think there's any use to the holder, though so, hey! Now I have a holder for one singular Joy-Con if I need it. Now on to the real thing. Three, two, one, vloop! <laughs> Witch! <laughs> Gravitary. Oh, now we can choose! Now we can make either the car, the fishing rod, the house, the motorbike, or the piano. What do you guys want to build first? I will let you guys decide what we're building here. Also, how do I get my Joy-Con out of the holder again? No! Joy-Con forever stuck in the holder! Okay, come out. Sweetheart. Oh god. There we go. We got it out of the holder. <laughs> we're geniuses. Okay. The fishing piano. Ah, uh, that's, that's a little too advanced for us yet. How about we just choose either car, fishing rod, house, motorbike, or piano? <laughs> hey, Arepa! Such a needy holder, indeed. But hey, it's actually kind of kind of neat looking. I will just wait until you guys actually give a, give a good example. We'll just wait here. The house? Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to the house too. I guess we don't need to creatively add anything to this Joy-Con holder because it's not really used anything. So let's let's start with the house. Let's see which one we need for that house. Bloop. Make variety Joy-Con kit. House Joy-Con house. Okay. Um. 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 Okay, let's make it the Koikon house. I was like, that's going a little too fast for me. Okay. Are you guys gonna tell me you'll need three, five steps to you'll need to complete? Okay. Let's find the house within our sheets of cardboard here. Just one moment. Eh. Eh. We need to actually get the sheets out of here first. Mm. All right. Which one of you is the house? You are the motorbike, you're the fishing rod. Are you the house? You're the house! Okay. House, you come out of here. Thank you. There we go. We found the house. Okay. Whew. The house is actually the one I've, I have been the most interesting <laughs> interested in. There are five steps to completing this. Okay. Perfect. Uh, make sure you got the plastic bag with the special parts inside. Okay. Plastic bag with special parts inside. Check. <laughs> Blob. <laughs> I'm totally not a planted stooge. Hmm. Okay. Now what do we do? One out of five. Let's make the house itself. Remove the eight pieces from sheets A and B. Okay. So the other sheets will be ignored for now. Other sheets go away. Hey, Cybernob, how are you doing, sweetheart? How are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm actually really looking forward to making a house and playing with the house. Let's play house, everyone. Okay. Let's uh, remove all the... Oh, this piece we don't actually need to remove. Oops. We need to remove... Yep. <laughs> it jumped at me. Okay, we need to remove this piece. Out there you come. It's actually really satisfying to remove these pieces out of the holder, I have to say. It's just, it feels very satisfying. One. There we go. 
But yeah, I'm doing all right. I'm really looking forward to this experience here. This is the second. This one needs. We need this one also so far. Come on out. Come on. Thank you, honey. Okay. And then we need which pieces from this one? We need that one. Gonna hang out here tonight. Oh, it's lovely to have you here, sweet, right? Welcome to We Are Crafting with some cardboard. Eh. Come on, house. Come on out. Come on out. You know you want to. We're gonna take the details out in a moment after after we get this piece out first. Eh. There we go. Do you guys hear that little shrooply do? Oops, sound we make. That we need this piece also. There we go. So it's not bad that it came out, but geez. Mm. Doink, doink, doink. Come on out. Thank you, peace. Um, um, don't be stuck. Thanks. All right. Come on out. There we go. The big piece is out. This piece needs to come out. And this piece down here needs to come out. I think I got all, all the pieces that it wants me to take out with that. Perfect. I thought this would be approved by now. I thought my this would be a... What? Your what would be approved by now? They, they take more time than I thought they would? Yeah, they take hours. That's, uh, you know, they're actually something to build and they will take quite a while to build depending on your speed and my speed is usually turtle slow which i mean i'm not ashamed of we're taking the little details out that they show outside here oh your emotes oh, okay yeah they they can take up to two weeks usually usually up to two weeks is uh, pretty reasonable for emotes depending on how congested they are. Like, I mean, people that change their emotes and stuff like that are also within, you know, the the people in front of you, basically. Nee. Come on out. Nee. Come on out. Okay. We almost have all the extras out of these pieces. There we go. Come on. Thank you, honey. Da, ba, ba, ba. One piece is clean. Do you need anything out of you? Yes, you do. This one. There we go. This clean is. This piece is clean and ready to go. This piece needs the middle. Oh, is that a? That's a little door. Or that's a little door. Put on that. I I think you guys see it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that's too long. I mean. I don't think so. It's the part of the fun is, you know, the the way to get there, you know, in my opinion, anyway. You might be of a differing op opinion, but in my opinion, anyway, uh, part of the fun is actually getting there and, you know, the whatever you do creatively on the way. There we go. That's why it's also lending itself very well to be streamed, in my opinion. Okay. Let's see. Um, these pieces, this piece, and I... there we go. Now I recognize this. There we go. We got all the junk pieces out, <laughs> which we just casually put on a little junk pile on the side, you know, as you do. Casual little junk pile. There we go. I have gotten all them out. How long does it take to look at three icons? What do you mean? Oh, his emote. Yeah, well, I mean, how long does it take to go to thousands of affiliates at once? It takes a very long time. And removed. And also, you know, you need to think about, there are a lot of butt icons on Twitch, but you need to think about if it's enough, appropriate enough to be an icon, <laughs> for example. Uh, T strip from seat C. Okay, we need seat C. We're gonna remove some pieces from here. Bloop. And there are, you know, there's always some icons that are gonna be right on the edge of what you are allowed to do, and then they need to think about it a little bit. Also, you don't know how many people are actually assigned 
to taking a look at the emotes. There might be like one poor sub going through every single affiliate emote, which there are like millions of. <laughs> and that poor sub is not very interested in going through it in a super high pace. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think that it's one single sub, but it could be not that many that you imagine there would be. There we go. Cleaning up pieces. Oops. And this piece. Cleaning up pieces. Hey, debugging. How are you doing, sweetheart? To get my emotes accepted. Yeah, well, I mean, it took me a very long time, but I was within the first affiliate wave when affiliate first came out. And uh, everyone and their mom wanted emotes at that point. So it took... It took a really, really long time. However, ironically, my tier two sub emote, the shy one, it got accepted first because I, I put in all three emotes at once. <laughs> and then all the other ones came months later, you know, tier one and all that. Mm -mm. It took forever. Okay, what else are we removing? Are we removing anything else? Uh, don't forget, if you have any trouble, you can use back and forward. Yeah, I know, sweetheart. Can you please continue? Uh, turn the... which? Wait, 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 wait. You're going too fast. Which piece is that? Ah! Now I have to find that piece. That piece is this piece. This piece. This piece. Found well, a piece! I'm fine. Oh, You need to fix them? Well, eventually you're gonna! I'm sure. I'm very happy with my emotes. As much as I love bots, I think that but I can be reserved for partnership. <laughs> Indeed, Cyber. Okay. Okay, let's uh let's look at the fold lines here. I think I think these fold lines go in these directions, yeah. Okay. Let's let's get the fold lines folded before we start because the game reminds us that a good Joy-Con, a Toy-Con, I mean, happens when you fold your fold lines beautifully. So we're going to fold our fold lines as beautifully as we know how. That's scary, actually, a little bit. Okay. Folding fold lines. Da, da, da. Or greasing. I think they use the word greasing about this. Mm. <laughs> now that you got your PC, you should get an into the switch. Yeah, you should. It is a lovely little thing. Okay. Let's make start make by making the chimney. Why are we making the chimney first? Oh, I need to also. There we go. I'm kind of folding with the with the lines that they they want folded here. I I could have done this in the first place. Bloop. Greasing. Waiting. Bloop. Okay. Can you guys hear the music a little bit in the background? I'm not sure at the distance if that goes, actually. What? We just flop it like this? Oh, we're greasing it still. Okay. Greasing. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That's not necessarily how I expected it to do, but okay. We're here. What now? <laughs> Bloop. This is not how I expected it to go, but okay. Okay. Grab this in. Ta-da! We have apparently our chimney started here. Doop -doop. And then in we go. Ta da! We have a chimney! Apparently meant to be this way around. And then it connects to whatever piece that is once we find it. This one. <laughs> I was a little faster. Is this a speedrun? This is a speedrun. Nintendo Labo speedrun. Totally. No, it's going to take forever and a half. We're going to grease it up again, I'm guessing. Bloop. Eh. 
floop, floop. There we go. I have greased. How where are we going now, video? Now watch carefully to make sure you put it the right way around. Okay. Okay. Hi, Dark Freak. How are you doing, sweetheart? Okay. Ta da! Shimony! <laughs> Inside road A into slot B. <laughs> oh, all the way through? Really? Um. Hold on a second here. Eh. 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 Okay. All the way. All the way. There we go. Now we're slotted. Yeah, now we're slotted then. Hello! -da! I'm just going in deep, I suppose. <laughs> Come on, sweetheart. Is that a cave story? Mo cave story? I guess you can't call Undertale a cave story, but she's. Have you slid in all the way? You should be able to see a tiny gap between those lines. Uh, yes, yes, I see this tiny gap. It is, it is indeed in. I'm not sure what way around the... Okay, this way around. Yeah, yeah, gaps. I see them. Now what do we do? Alright then, time to get these two. Okay. Just one moment, I will make sure that these stay up. New Age Cave Story. Oh, that's Undertale. New Age Cave Story. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, time to... For the stopper piece that will hold it in place. Both of these pieces are the same. Okay. We're gonna turn them around. We're gonna fold them neatly in the middle. Both of them. Well, don't move anywhere. There we go. And then we're gonna slide them in on both sides so that it stays in place forever and ever. Okay. There we go. Stay down. We're gonna make a lot of sounds during this. Okay. Ta da! We have got our. Yep, we have slid them in. Look, our chimney is coming together slowly but surely. Dum, bum, bum. Did you both them. Did they both meet in the middle? Yes, they both are meeting in the middle and making out pretty nicely. Bloop. Ta da! Okay, it's time to start giving the house its proper shape. All right, uh, this piece. Come on over here. Apparently, this is the proper shape house shape thing. Uh, this piece is going to form the floor and the side walls. Okay. Now we are of course greasing again. Uh. Is this really how you want to grease it? Okay. Wait, I'm doing it the wrong way around. No wonder. There we go. I am a herpaderp. I should use this to in the right way, direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. <laughs> I'm a herpaderp. Choop, choop. Eh. Eh. Okay, there we go. And then the other one, likely also on the other side. Floop. Forward. <laughs> the house will become a fishing rod. It, really now, is that how it works? The house will become a fishing rod. Be careful. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. And bloop. Nim, 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 nim. Ta da. Yep, 
you keep on blooping. Whoa. <laughs> and then suddenly my table was <laughs> going to move away. Oh, apparently I didn't take that piece out of there. There we go. Where did the trash piece go? It just flew away. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it got stuck. Okay. Floop. And the sides. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow the video. Just gonna let it guide me towards greatness. Okay. This uh, For this part, we're going to need some of the sponge stickers from the basic start back. Okay. They all exactly the same shape. Perfect. Eh. Sponge! Where are you, honey? There you are. Somewhere. Sponge! I know you're in there. I can see you. Okay, there we go. Sponge. Uh, first, let's peel off half of the sponge sticker and stick it on the side of the piece. Make sure the printed side is face down. Oh god, me and me and these kind of things. Hold the on. We're soon gonna peel it off. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. I'm surprised I haven't seen Dio here yet. Okay. There we go. It's gonna be exactly over here. There we go. Oh, it's furry. It feels furry. All right. There is a sponge sticker. I'm not sure what it's for, but it's there now. Careful with the positioning now. Okay. We're going to get the other half on the other side. I'm not sure what exactly the sponge sticker is for, but okay. Right there. Uh, alright, that feels alright, I think, yep, sponges, alright, we have sponges, I'm not sure what for, but we have them. Next, we need a marker sticker, which is one of the shiny stickers. Uh, the ones that come in all sorts of shapes. These ones come in all sorts of shapes. Okay. Which one do we need from the big one? Okay. From the big one, we need the upper, smally, tiny sticker over there. Okay. <laughs> the sticker is from making it different to the fishing rod. I see. Okay. Because obviously this is like the fishing rod, right? Okay, make sure you use the right stickers. I'm double checking that. Yeah, I mean it's... This is the sticker bag that I mean, right? No, this isn't the sticker bag that I mean, right? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> Alright. Now, this looks like the right sticker bag, yes? Yes, this is the right one. Yes, yes, it is right. <laughs> now let's eh, sticker this out. Da da. And this teeny tiny sticker comes over here. Has to be over here. Just right there on the edge, Cindy. It's it's not scary. It's probably not gonna bite. Right there on the edge. Just put it in. There you go. Da da. Does one come on the other side as well? And you can place the matching sticker on the corner on the other side, of course. Okay. Eh. Come on. There we go. Right there. Okay. 
Yes. Now we have stickers. I'm always so, so worried about placing stickers like that. Uh, fold the edges of the window firmly inwards. Okay. Eh. Eh. Nyeh. Nyeh. Probably of, of, of all the windows, I would assume. I guess these are all windows. Yep. Chip. Chip. Chip, chip. Eh. Okay. And then chip, chip. Windows. Beautiful. Eh. Once we get it. Yeah, perfect. Now we would just watch. And the third. Yep, exactly like that. Thank you. Time to fit the floor and walls together. Okay. Time to raise the walls. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, in it went. I'm using the video for safety. <laughs> I'm really insecure when it comes to following instructions sometimes. Okay. There we go. Yes. Yes, that is, that is correct. And standing. Great! Now we have the foundations of our house. Perfect! The foundations of our house with some glowy stickers up there and some spongy stuff down here. Perfect. Uh, okay. Then we switch to this piece. Come on, bees. Okay. Going to add the pack ball to these five tabs into place. There we go. All right. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, back walling right over here. There we go. Okay. And then the tabs on the sides and the last one, of course, down there. Floop de doop. And floopity doop. There we go. Apparently, there was no need to fold the sex tab, they just said. Alright. Oh, there was no need to fold the sex tab. <laughs> now take the whole piece and slot it into the opening in the house's floor. Come on, back wall. In you go. Whoa! <laughs> that is not a super sturdy back wall, but it is there now. It is very happy to be there. Okay, then fold it over and slide the side tabs into the walls. If you can do them both at the once or one at a time, it's too tricky. You can do them both. Okay. Slotting in both at once. Bloopity boop. Floopity doop, floopity doop, 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 up. Come on. No. Let me, let me get in there. Honey, honey, let me get in there. Okay, that one's going in. What about this one? This one's also somewhat going in. Okay. There we go. You guys firmly in place? Yes. Back wall, why? Why is the window? Oh, why is there a window in the bottom of this? <laughs> okay. Back wall. Now the front wall, I'm guessing. Uh, now for the left ceiling part. Okay, this seems to be it. 
right here. Uh, look for the L mark on to check it's the right. Oh, this is the right one. Okay, here is the left one. <laughs> now we have the right one. The right, left one. Mm hmm. That makes sense. Let's actually look at it in the direction they want. Fold up. Boink. <laughs> da -da -bum -bum. Fold up everything. Yes. Okay. We have folded it up. Now it goes right there somehow. Okay, so it goes inside here. Uh, goes to wait, 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 back. Does the front go over? Yes, it does. Okay. There we go. It is in place. And then this goes in here. Once it wants to. Okay. There we go. And with that we have the left one. Now we do the same thing on the right. Folding things. It's actually pretty nice. Okay. Here's the right one. Here's the. That's a little different. Okay. Basically, same thing. Look at it without the instructions, Mom! Although, I mean, theoretically we got the same instructions anyway. Or we are getting the same instructions anyway. There we go. It starts to be a house or something, supposedly. Okay. Exactly like that. Then we're taking the chimney. Host the chimney into place, up on top of the house. Are you starting to feel like a real builder yet? No. Not really. <laughs> okay, the chimney is this way around. Get the fishing rod piece. <laughs> no. Okay. Eh. Eh. Come on. Okay. And uh, here and there. Shimony! Cricket! <laughs> okay, come on. In you go. Thank you, honey. In you go. Thank you, honey. Alright. Shimony. First, yep, yep, yep. We just did that. And just one wall to go! But it's the most important one. This one might be a bit trickier, but I know you can do it! Thanks! Top one folding, not the bottom one. Okay. Yep. Shoop, doop, doop. Okay. Down, bam, bam, bam. Okay. <laughs> it's kind for the switch to be so encouraging. I know you can do it, indeed. I mean, it is very kind. Now turn the piece over so the printed side is up. And fold the bottom line. It folds the opposite way to the top one. Okay, this one. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. 
fold the top line back over too to make a zigzag. Okay, so this way. Uh, does your ball look nicely like this? Super nice. Mm -hmm. It does. What we're we doing now? Uh, if everything looks good, it's time to fit the last piece to our house. Slide the bottom of the wall carefully into this gap. Okay. Carefully. Oh, voila. Careful. Okay. And then. And slot the bottom tab firmly into this floor. Into the floor. It didn't tell me to fold the bottom lap, but okay. Fold it. Uh huh. Uh, these tabs will slide neatly into the left ceiling. Bloop a dee ba doop. Bloop a dee ba doop. In you go. There you go. And that just leaves the side tabs. Let's take them one at a time. Okay. That's this one that you're looking at. Just get them up and down. Doink. And get these up and down. Doink. Mm-hmm. We still have pieces though. So that's not all. Doom. Uh there are a lot of long folds in this one. Eh. Come here. Okay, this piece. Also, why is my labo and uh, my thing taking all of the screen here? There we go. Just making sure. One moment, I'm just moving something in the background. Okay. Uh, lots of fold on this one, so let's uh, crease them all carefully. Which one is that one? The middle one? <laughs> Double check what the fold is. Also, I'm holding it the wrong way around. That also explains this one. It's this fault. Okay. And then this one. And then the last one. There we go. Chip, 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 chip. Folding. Come on, there we go. Fold in, sweetheart. Here we go. Chup, chup, chup. And this thing. So basically, we're making a little tubey tube. Is what you're saying me, telling me. Okay. Yep, we made a little tubey do. We made a little straw. Exactly. What do we need the tubey dupe for? The tubey tube is. Uh, make sure that the white print aside is facing the right way and slide the step. Into the slot at the bottom of the house. Okay. Come on. There we go. It is our switch step now. I, I realize what this is because the switch is gonna lay here. 
So it's basically the step that, you know, is underneath the switch. It took me this while, but hey. Uh, doesn't look cool when the printer markings line up perfectly? Yes, it looks super cool. Doesn't it, guys? So cool. Mmm. Okay. And then we still have one more piece. Exactly that. This is the final piece before our house is complete. It's time to add the roof. So this isn't... Oh, yeah, I guess this isn't the roof yet. I guess you're right. It is time to add the roof. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Blop, 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 blop. <laughs> cool like a pool in a swimming pool. Oh yeah, gravitary. Oh yeah. Uh, then fold the two tabs into place. The place is apparently inwards. It's really taking shape. Yeah. There we go. Here goes nothing! We're going to have to fit this over the top of the chimney. Make sure the printed side is facing up. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, it's just to slot it in on both sides. Finish your fishing pole. You are you are really <laughs> insistent on the fishing pole here. There we go. Our house is complete! Yay! Next we're going to make three special blocks that slot into uh, the main house. You might want to take a little break first. Nope. We're not taking a break. Let's make the button block. Woohoo! You remove these two pieces from sheets A and B. Uh, there is B. Oopala, sorry. Moving away from you guys. And there is A. Okay. We are removing uh, this piece. And let that piece. That looks kind of like bullets to me. Or actually, it looks like chess pieces now that I look at it again. At first, it looked like bullets when I looked at it really fastly, but now it kind of looks like chess pieces. Okay, come on out. Doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Those are out. Anything else you need? Game? Um, from Sheets D. D is something we haven't removed anything from yet. Alright. This one. Yup, 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 yup. This one. Come on out. And that one. I didn't actually remove the... The, 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 the middle pieces yet from the other one. Let's make sure that we remove that. There we go. This is This needs to be removed. Okay, and then uh, then this needs to have these teeny tiny pieces here removed. There we go. Anything else? This one. There we go. Oh, and this piece needs these removed. Cindy is actually paying attention. There we go. Hey, Curtis! How are you doing? Thank you for the bits. Buckalunk! You actually got to see the, the bit animation that I made. It's still the newest animation because I haven't made any of the other bit animations. <laughs> Eventually. How are you doing? There we go. Oh, I forgot to add something to the to the eh. Okay. There we go. 
to the title here. There we go. A bed animation. A bed animation, yeah. I I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean it's pretty crude of course, but I'm pretty happy with it. Little tip for you before I continue. Yeah, I know. I know that when you do this, if you're using button controls, okay. The first thing we need to make is a nice long box. And apparently that's gonna come out of here. <laughs> and there is the charity reminder. Because we are indeed with the Twitch subreddit community where I am a I'm a community helper on the Twitch subreddit community and uh, therefore I'm pretty excited for what they're doing there. Uh, like charity wise. A lot of other subreddits and stuff are also taking part in it. So I thought it would be cool if we also did that. Uh, is this the right way around? Yes. Okay. Flubity boop. But yeah, how are you doing, Curtis? Okay. There we go. Through here. Eh. Which one was that? <laughs> Just keep on going backwards. I'm insecure when I'm building things. I want to see every single step. <laughs> really enjoying watching this come together? I'm glad that you are. I'm really enjoying making it. Also, we are gonna take some time to, you know, decorate it before we actually play with it, which hopefully is not a big deal breaker, but I just, I want to. It would be lovely. There we go. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, roll up the box and use the tab to fit it together. Okay. Et voila. This kinda this looks kinda royal almost. Almost regal. Et voila. That should probably be underneath and we're probably also putting this tab in. I would assume I'm letting it show me, but I would assume that this tab is also going in. We need to close up this end. Yeah, you don't say. Okay. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Come on in. Thank you, honey. <laughs> it doesn't really stand up still, but hey, that's fine. Now, the part you are actually... Uh, the part you actually push. Okay. Which is this one. Okay. What are we doing with this one? Uh, yes. <laughs> Double checking what is folded. Okay, and then probably on all of these, seeing the what it's gonna create. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. There we go. And then here. And there. Yeah. Slowly folding together. Also, I need to make something sure here in the background. There we go. Okay. I can see what is happening here. Uh, we are inserting four tabs at once. Make sure not to break them. Okay, just double checking. Does it need to be a certain way around? Well, on the picture it's this way around, so we're gonna put it this way around. Okay. This will. There we go. Take a little bit of convincing, but we convinced it. Bloop. Okay, bloop. And then we obviously connect these things. Come on. There we go. Like one over here. The other one over here. <laughs> Once we get it over here. The other one over there. Come on. In you go. I know you want to. Thank you, honey. And then this one over here. 
We have a stamp! Blomp. We can stamp things now. Okay. Except we can't because it doesn't have any ink on it. But in theory, we could totally stamp things now. Okay. Now this piece that looked like chess pieces to me. Uh, of course, this way around. Okay. And this way around. Flip. And that way around. Yep. Okay. What is this? Uh, this is going to be the top half of the main block. Okay. Uh, it's this one. Okay. Doink. And then what are we doing here? Folding over and folding over on both sides. Okay. There we go. Uh, then slot the part we just made straight through the middle. Just, just hold on. I'm making sure that we are facing this right. Straight through the middle. Just through here. Just like that. Like this. Is this what you want? <laughs> this looks... This looks interesting so far. I guess it will come together with this piece now. Uh, for the bottom half of the block. Okay. Flip. Okay. Doink. And doink. And very likely doink as well as doink over here too. There we go. Exactly. And then the little slip slits on all of these. Eh. Sleepily. 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 And another slip slit. I don't know why I'm calling them slip slits. It's not even a real word. It just came to me all of a the sudden. There we go. Now. Well. Yes. Um. It needs to be this way around. This needs to be this way around because they have the same symbol on them. Yeah, okay. This slots. So I'm guessing this goes through here. Well, I'm gonna just watch. Yeah, it's just slots. Okay. First, this needs to be in the middle there. Oh dear. This one will be it a little bit interesting. This one needs to come through the middle here. Come on. Carefully now. There we go. There we go. Okay. And you are going to be encompassed by this thing. There we go. And you're going to slit everything in. I think. Yes, once we once we manage to do that, because I am a herper derp. There we go. And with that, I suppose this is secured. Whatever it is. Eh. Some kind of button, that's for sure. Okay. Make sure that that's far enough true. Yeah, this looks right, I think. Bloop! Now we can spread these four long arms out to the sides. Okay. Can we actually? 
Are we sure that this is deep enough? Yes, it's actually golden going up with the with the things there. I'm still a little confused what exactly this is. It is a very intricate button, I have to say. Okay. They're all to the sides. Like a like a beautiful what now? Like a beautiful flower, don't you think? Dot dot dot. No? <laughs> Poor thing. Okay, slide the pushy button with bit snugly into the hole in the middle. Ah, I see well, how this is now going. Now bend these side flaps in. Yeah, of course, okay. Bend. Bend. Is it just me or are the side flaps the wrong way around? Oh well. Okay. Bend in. Oh, it's... Oh, I see. It's gonna be springy. <laughs> it's gonna be springy. That's gonna be great. Okay. You go in here. You go in there. Once I bent you a little bit. Once I bent you a little sideways, apparently, because I am a terrible bender here. Okay. And you bend over here. Sorry for bending you a little sideways early, honey. I didn't mean it. Okay. Flip, flip, flip. And now we have a button. The rarest of all bloodlines. <laughs> the cardboard bender, indeed. And now it, it like buttons. As it should. Which is pretty cool. I think. I'm pretty proud of that. Okay. Bloop-a-doop-doop. I like the sound of it. Done! Does it spring properly? Yes, it does. It's, it springs nicely, I would say. I'm very proud of our button here. Okay. Are we doing another button? Yes, we are. Is the answer. Time for some marker stickers. All oh, right, marker stickers. Uh, this one. Mm hmm Which one we're taking? Uh, keep the button pressed down so you can stick these onto the end. Watch carefully and stick them exactly on the right places. Yes. We're taking this teeny tiny block from over here. Teeny tiny block. Hey, thank you. And we're putting them on the very ends. Apparently. Yeah, on the very ends. One. Yeah, it's showing it on each side. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> now build 50 more. Actually, no, I think there's like... Well, I mean, there's one, two... Three windows, so there's gotta be three buttons. There we go. Okay. Trying to put it as middle as possible. I hope it doesn't calculate if it's exactly in the middle of the cardboard. If it did, then I have a problem, but uh, hopefully it doesn't. Okay, there we go. Yeah, exactly. Gravitary, exactly. And then when we poop, it goes like, oh no, there's a thing here. Okay, you can put in the rest. I already did. Um, once you've added all your stickers on the sides, add in a long one. On the bottom. Bottom, I mean. That is longer than the others. It is right here. It's going through the X's. So it's... Or like through the little crevices. Which is, you know, actually pretty smart of them to 
make it so that it's in the crevices. Um, wait. <laughs> I want it to be as middle as possible. Hmm. That's not as middle as possible. Well, it's pretending to be as middle as possible. I'm a little kid putting this together, okay? <laughs> we will test out if it's uh, kid-proof by by me being the one putting stickers. I'm, I have always been really terrible at putting stickers. Like in Kinder Surprise Eggs, the little sticker things, ooh, they were always off. Be careful to position the sticker correctly. Use the little notes as a guide. I'm, I'm feeling really insecure about the sticker now. Thanks, Nintendo. I have been using the stickers. There we go. Now it's a little bit more in the middle. Kid friendly. Okay. Oh god, even more! On the sides now too? Oh wait, it's on the upper sides. Okay. These are the long ones, right? We're not done just yet. Okay, we need the lower ones over here. Lower long ones. Need to go on the edges, right here. Please, ask your parents for help. <laughs> should be what they should be saying right now. Okay. I'm just trying to eye the distance here. The distance was somewhat eyed. It pretended to be eyed. Stickers! Okay. In you go. Perfect. And then... One more. Right over here. Alright. It has been... Now they recognize when the button is in, and now it recognizes when the button is pushed. Basically. Okay, let's fast forward this a little bit. Bloop. Bloop. And le bloop. Okay. Yep, that's the button. Done. We're pretty proud of it. It's pretty great. Now, the moment of truth. If it fits. <laughs> I'm guessing. There's the labo. Try setting this button in. Oh god. Ah! It goes in! Ah! It buttons! Ah! It comes out again too! Button. Out again. We did it! All right, one button, done. The button block is complete. Oh yeah, just make two more blocks. It's a good idea to take a rest when you get chance. Nope. Okay, now let's start another button. Our ready buttons over here. Uh, six pieces from A and B. Okay. A. Where are you, honey? There you are. And where's B? There you are. Come here. Thanks, you, honey. Okay. A and B. Okay. Well, we remove one thing from B. So not very many. This thing. Ha! Nope. <laughs> we're not gonna rest until we're done here. This piece. That piece. It's gonna be a different looking button. That thing, a little flower or star, depending on how you look at it. I think it's a flower. It could be a sun too. And this anchor. It's gonna be an anchor button. Okay, I think I got everything. We're just gonna clean up this button before we, you know, do anything with it. To make sure that the extra pieces are out, which is a lot of teeny tiny extra pieces. Eeh, come out. Thank you. Did you just say the... No, I didn't. I didn't. 
But your mind heard whatever it wanted to heard. Here. Here, even. Heard. What the... <laughs> okay. This one is clean, and all the other ones don't seem to have extra pieces. So, yep. Perfect. I'm gonna have so much teeny tiny cardboard crap <laughs> to get rid of. Anything else? And two more pieces from C, C and D. C and D, these two. Come on. Okay. Here's C. C. Uh, we're removing this piece. Come on. There we go. And then from C and D, we're from D we were removing this piece. Yes, yes. Boop. Perfect. And then we're cleaning them up. This looks like a bottle opener. <laughs> it might just be me, but this kind of looks like a cardboard version of a bottle opener. Right here. There we go. And let's get rid of these. Uh, these tiny pieces come out. Where's the other one? I know there was another one. No? That's the only tiny piece that comes out? Okay. Yeah. We have cleaned. I almost removed the one that we actually needed. Okay. Need cardboard rooms to make useful. Indeed! Uh, let's first get together the main shaft! Apparently, this little thing is the main shaft. Go figure. And yeah, you just snap all the things in. Snap, 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 snap. Oh, it looked much nicer as a little flower thing, I have to say. It looked much more pleasant as a little flower thing. There we go. Look at it. Our main shaft is done. <laughs> I need to get some water here before I... Now this humongous piece. Thou counting them as you fold them over. All right, let's try counting them. Totally been folding over. Okay. Uh, first through the middle. Is what it's saying. Yes. Yes. Make sure. Yes. Okay. And then every single fold, right? Yeah, every single fold in the both directions. Yep. Hey, Monan! How are you doing, sweetheart? Saturdays with Cindy, yeah. We made a little house. We made a little house already over here. That was the middle fold, right? I'm just making sure where the middle fold was. That was the middle fold, so... These are gonna go the other way. There we go. Oopala. We have greased. Exactly. Interesting. So, wait. That's the middle piece. They're both laying towards here. Like so. Okay. Not what I expected, but okay. <laughs> Aww. It's fine, sweetheart. Hey, come back! How are you doing? We are indeed having a charity. We are taking part with our own campaign on the Twitch subreddit charity event. Uh, which is with other communities as well, other subreddits and stuff. Uh, we don't have any community goals for that because I find charity events with community goals would be a little odd. But because, I mean, it would some people would actually read that into they need to donate and they need to re reach that goal and that they donate over what they can use and that's not cool, but yeah. 
Also, magic has been started. If anyone wants to take part in that, exclamation mark magic and the jelly bean amount from 1 to 50. Be aware that you are betting your jelly beans, though. So be careful. Alright. We are slotting this in in the bottom. Right here. Interesting. Uh, as such. Whew. There we go. The bottom is in. The bottom is in. And we have a... This thing. Bloop. It's very different from the other button we have done so far. Okay. Which I kind of like. I like that the buttons all are built very differently than this thing. This thing? We're gonna fold it over. We're probably gonna fold it in the middle, which we are. Uh, there are two fold lines here. They're right next to each other, so be careful. Which one are we folding? The lower one. Okay. Like so. And then the upper one, separately. Eh. Like so. Okay. There we go. We have little pincers now. Now slot it into the main shaft. Really? Okay. Aww. I'm sorry, sweethearts, that you lost your jelly beans this time. Oh, you slot it like that. I see. Okay. Come on. Come on. Slot in, you know you want to. This is gonna take a little bit of uh, convincing here. And by a little bit, I mean it, it will take some convincing. <laughs> okay. This needs to be exactly like so. Whoa. We will eventually slot it in. Oh well, time for a diet then. <laughs> Jelly bean. Diet is over now, huh? Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh right, we're doing it on the... Wait, what way around? <laughs> Double check. This is on the outside. Okay. This is on the outside. That's why it maybe didn't go in. Yes. That seems to be the case. Now just go in. Almost in. There we go! It's no wonder. It is actually made that it slightly goes to one side, it feels. Okay. It's the right way around. Yes. We have slotted it in. Um, yes, the little slot over there is still free. Uh, there are two more piece pieces to this piece. There are two pieces to do these things, these things. What are we doing with them? Oh! There are two pieces to this piece, but one is just a spare. So we don't need it now. Store it safely somewhere. Okay. Let's put this one away then. Let's, let's put it in the box. Until then then. Uh, don't take this piece lightly. Just because it's small. If you don't crease it well, it won't roll up properly. Okay. Probably that's why there's double. Okay. Right in there. This one. What does the house do? You will see. But the house is... Basically, you will have a little creature. You, you put your Nintendo Switch on this slot here. And there will be little buttons to interact with the little creature inside the house. And we will see how that actually works. I mean, I haven't ac seen it in action more than, you know, the trailers. But that is basically what it does. That's why we are making buttons for the house. Because different buttons have different things how it interacts with you. Or how you interact with it. Or what happens when you push the button. Or when you press it in. Yeah! It does! I'm really excited for this one. I always was actually most excited for the house. Okay. Uh-huh. Cine is being careful about this one. They said to be careful and they gave us a spare, so... 
if they said to be careful and gave us a spear, I'm gonna believe that it is to be not be trifled with. There we go. Okay. Chip, chip, chip. Wait. <laughs> We're gonna go step by step because I am a worried goober sometimes. That stands up. That goes over. And this down here. Here. There we go. That's what was wrong. Then you go one more. And then it's lining up properly. Eesh. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Whatever this is. It's done. Look at it. Look at it. It's teeny tiners. Hi. <laughs> we will see what it actually is. But for now it's just teeny tiny. And then these are folded outwards. Okay. Bloop. And bloop. Probably some kind of important connecting piece. Okay. It goes to this side of this. Eh. Come on. There we go. What then? Yep, that's, that's exactly how it is. Now it's time for this piece. Oh yeah. That's probably in the middle. Yep. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, you just leave it there. Okay. And you slot it in there. Oh. This way around, according to this. Once I get it in. Getting it in is the hard part, you see. Okay. Coming in true. Slot in a little bit farther. There we go. Now we have the stopper in place. Perfectly round with the other rest. Oh yeah. There we go. Bloop. Okay. And then we fold the whole thing, or fold, we, we let it go like this. It's like this little thing has a chimney of its own. What the hell? What kind of button is this? It's a little chimney buddy button so far. It's not even a button, it's just whatever this is supposed to be. Oh well. Uh, for the actual block part. Oh, right. We haven't even done the actual block part yet. <laughs> we have just done whatever the hell this is. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I love the the way of it coming together while you have no idea what the hell this is supposed to look like at the end of it. Okay. Bloop. Okay. And then like this. All right, and then as so, all right, probably the other sides too, yep, exactly. Okay, boink, and a bloink. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a little hand crank, but it can't move, so it's not a really working hand crank so far. And on this other side as well, oh, this little split it also, there we go. All the little flidgets. Sometimes I call them splitsits. Now I'm calling them flidgets. I'm making up words as I go for these crafty things. Okay. And then. Smash this one. Smash. And that one. Smash. And this one. Smash. Alright. 
and then put together probably with the sides slotting in as exactly look at that there we go one and a two and a three three perfect it is a button base i'm guessing this will be slotting in there oh wait What it what is happening here? Uh, which one was that? That was this one. No, it wasn't. It was this one. This one said that it needed to be folded outwards. It's a good idea if we fold this weird tab outwards before you close up this side. Well, I mean, we can still fold it outwards. No, we can't. Of course not. Okay, let's fold this weird tab outwards. There we go. Now it's folded. Now we have a tab. I'm not sure for what, but there it is. And this is why you follow the instructions. And then we slot that thing in. Uh, the weird tab is up here. This is over here. There we go, slot. Go through. And how is this button mechanic gonna work at the end of it? Time for another one of these stoppers. Fold it. And, and of course put it together like so. And now. Take it and. With the cardboard part over here and stop it right through there. Okay. There we go. Now it can't move, but it can turn. Oh, it is a crank! Cyber, you were right. It is a little hand crank. Because now it works! Now we probably have to just add the stickers for the camera to actually make out what the hell is going on. <laughs> We made a working hand crank. <laughs> Wait, what? What did they do just now? Now, back to this weird tab on the side. It's actually a sound effect tab. Fold it in half and stick it through the slot. Fold it in a sound effect tab. Okay. See? Sound effect tab. That's what the little tab was for. It's so that you can hear a cranking sound when you crank it. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, I'm fascinated by this now. Because it makes sound. Okay, we have made a hand crank. Now where go the stickers? Done. Forward. Bloop! Now we sticker it up. Let's stick our sticker thingy. Okay, I'm impressed! <laughs> you done good. Well, I mean, this was kind of what I expected, but man, I'm loving it. Okay, so now... There is a little sliplet. This one? This is the only sliplet? No, it's just... Oh, there's three of these. Okay. See those little notches on the bottom? Those are the sides that need stickers. Okay. Yeah, they also made like cardboard things that you can put together. That was Nintendo's early thing, like cardboard or like a little bit like Lego, to be honest. Okay, this needs a sticker. Uh, that is not well done. I want it to be as straight as possible. Okay, sticker. And you put it on all sides, of course, yeah. On all sides that have the little widgets. But yeah, they made toys and other stuff. Nintendo made a lot of things, actually. I think they even made shoes at some point, but I don't remember if it was them or another company. Okay, 
I'm just making sure where they're taking the sticker from. So that the sticker thing still looks the same as there at the end of it. There we go. Oh no! No! That sticker is all bad! Come on! No! Sticker! Please! Go straight! As straight as you can! Thank you! There we go! But yeah, they did a lot of stuff. Alright. We have the stickers in. Oh gosh. Okay. Deeny tiny corner stickers. I'm not looking forward to this, but sure. Let's put teeny tiny corner stickers so that they know. <laughs> okay. We need one uh, triangle stickers. They go on the bottom on each where we have a thing. Okay. One triangle sticker. Okay. Again, I'm looking where they're taking them from. They're taking them from here and then one from there. Okay. That is the reel for your rod house. Of course. Of course it is. Okay. This gets a sticker right there. And then this gets a sticker right here too. Once we get it in. Eh. Eh. Come on. Thank you, honey. All right. There we go. We have our stickers in place. What now? Now there's this huge strip that we need to put all the way around. Great. Around the shaft, as they put it. All right. Huge sticker. Let's start it up over by here. Then it's easier to maybe get straight ish. A shaft ring. <laughs> I see what he did there. Okay. Um, I feel like it went a little sideways somewhere, but I don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference there. I think this is a pretty okay sticker. Ah, it bothers me. Nintendo did. Haha. Nintendo did. Oh gosh. Easy does it. There we go. Now it goes perfect. Now it's now it's good. Now it's good. Now we have all the stickers of this little cranky thing. Bloop. Perfect. Done. Forward. Now the moment of truth. Does the cranky thing fit in the hole? Perfectly. Okay. Yes, it does, but wait. Whoa. But the window is trying to take it. The window is trying to take it from me. Just making sure that this is this is all as intended. Okay, this is how the way around it needs to go in. Okay. I was putting it the wrong way around slightly. <sighs> there we go. Wow, that makes an interesting sound. Yep, that does go in. The window side wants to slip in to this thing a little bit, but that's okay. 
it works as a button and that is exactly what it needs to be. So now we have a crank and we have a pushy button. Push, push, push. Now what kind of button do we get last? The crank is complete! Yay! Now we get to... Let's say make this one. B and C. B and C. Where's, where's B? There's B. Okay. Bloop. What do we take from B? There's not many options though. This one. This is what we take from B. Okay. Works as intended. <laughs> it does. Okay. And then E. C. Come on. There we go. Then we take the teeny tiny stuffies out again. Out. Out. Come on. <laughs> that would be that would be really epic. You're right, Gravitary. That would be amazing. That would be fun. Did I take all the... No, I didn't. These are come also out from this one. Is that supposed to come out too? No, this isn't supposed to come out. Or at least it doesn't according to this. Let me, let me take a close look. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. So those come out and otherwise nothing on these. Okay. Come here, little... Junk. Dum bum bum. All right. And remove this one piece from C D. Uh, apparently D has like emergency pieces or something like that. Or maybe it's for something else that you can make with Labo or so. Uh, for the garage or so. But this seems to be the piece that we're taking out. This seems to be a funky piece. It has a funky base, at least. Whoop. There we go. Alright. Ready to make it. Also, I would like some water. <sighs> That's the last of the pieces we need for the house. Now let's store sheet D safely away in a box. We'll start with the main shaft for the key, which was this thing. The main shaft. Okay. Right over there. One. And two. Folding, folding, so much folding. Okay, this one. <laughs> I I like double checking, okay? <laughs> there we go. Folding. There we go. Or greasing, rather. Since they keep on calling it greasing. We're greasing them. Nice and good. Uh, now we're going to need one of the small rubber bands. Oh, no. We need one of the small rubber bands. That's, that's scary. Hi, rubber band. I don't trust rubber bands. I have bad experiences with them as a kid. Okay. We have a rubber band. Uh, slide it underneath, like through those two furs, right? Yeah, okay. I see what we need to do with it. In you go, rubber band. It's your time to shine, once you get in there somehow. There you go. One part of the rubber band, in. 
Eh, rubber band. Come on, sweetheart. Thank you. Slide in. Slide in! I believe in you! Okay. Two parts of the rubber band then. Attach it nice and securely. It will make things easier later. Well, nice and securely. We will try to attach this rubber band here. With a lot of fumbling. Okay, in you go. In you go. Into that little further. In a little further. Rubber band. Rubber band. Listen to me. You need to go in there. Thank you, honey. All right. Okay. The rubber band is secure, I think. Double check. Secure over there. Secure over here. Hey, honky tonk! Welcome to rubber band. <laughs> How are you doing, honey? Lovely to see you here. Make sure your rubber band looks like this. If not attached properly, the key mechanisms won't work. Oh, it needs to actually have some leeway on the other side, not on the inside, I see. Help. Rubber bands are scary. To me. To me. Let's make sure that it's as, you know, balanced as possible between these two sides on the other side. Okay. Okay. There's rubber band on the other side now. Which is scary to me. Because rubber bands are destructive. <laughs> there we go. It looks right now. This rubber band side could still be a little further into the niche there. Though, in my opinion. There we go. Okay, I think it's secure. And now roll the piece together. Wait, from which side? This side. There we go. And let's slot it in. Perfect. Rubber band piece is slotted. And then we bloop this closed. There we go. And now we need this one. Boink. Oh yeah, how are you doing, Hunky Dunk? Look at all that things we have already made. Like this crank. And this button. <laughs> and this house. We have made things. Okay, now it's time to make the handle of the key. The part you actually twist. Oh, so this is supposed to be a t key, I see. Oh, hee <laughs> hee, that rhymes. <laughs> oh, hee hee, that rhymes, Cine. You're so, you're so smart sometimes. Um, the lower one. Choop. Wait, no, this one. Oops. Choop this way around. Paying attention, paying attention. Okay. And then this way around. And then he's in. Boop. Mm -hmm. This one too. And over here. And then probably over here too. And this little sleepy slappy thing. Wait. No, only the the top part of it. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Da -da -bum. And this part. Okay. There we go. We have greased them all up. Okay, wait a moment. Okay, 
Yes, I see how it's gonna come together, I think. These are gonna go in here. Oh, apparently we're making a box. I I didn't realize we were making a box, but then again, I, re I don't realize most of these things, what they're gonna end up being in the end. <laughs> Not good at envisioning these. That's a little weird. There's nothing for it to slot into. Okay. Alright. And that thing stays there. Now just fit the middle tab up a bit. And we're ready to fit the pieces together. Okay, we're flipping this upwards. Like this. And Mr. This thing comes in. <laughs> Lovely. You're still... yeah. You're fine. Okay. In you go. In there. Thank you. And then we're gonna put the stab down. And it's gonna stay put. There we go. Now we have a key, I think. It, it called it a key, although really it looks like a hammer to me right now. It's a hammer with some rubber band on it. Okay. Perfect! Now this piece. Print the side down and it looks like this. Okay. Shoop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Bloop. One part. Oof, that made a squeaky sound on my side. Ah, you guys probably heard it too, you poor, poor things. Okay. These parts. On both sides. Wouldn't make sense otherwise. Okay. And this thing. Bloop. Uh, psh, come on. Make space. Thank you. It needs to fold. Okay. This little tab. This little tab. <laughs> Honky Tonk is amazed. <laughs> I'm amazed too that we have come so far so far. Okay. We're actually doing surprisingly well. Then these flappity flaps over here. Flappity flaps. Flappity flaps. Gotta get them. Flappity flaps. Probably this thing too. Yep. Alright. <laughs> so many emotes. Okay. These bows come up. This is important. It goes in here. I'm guessing. Exactly. Okay. Yep, it did. Then the hammer turns around and goes into this slot for some reason. Uh, to push the key right through the middle, make sure you insert it from the printed side onto the block. get wrong. Hey Miko, how are you doing sweetheart? Lovely to see you here. This is easy to get wrong. Yeah. Okay, we indeed need to get it from the this side. Okay. It goes all the way through? All the way through. Okay, we have the key that now can unlock and, you know, go like this. We have a key. Perfect. Okay. Yes. Now the stupid rubber bands are coming in handy. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Ah, we have to get the rubber bands on both sides of that? Really? Okay, rubber band. I trust you. I don't. I don't trust you. I never trusted any rubber bands. Okay. Oops. This is coming undone slightly. We're gonna just... We need to just get a hold of the rubber bands is all. Okay. <laughs> we just need a hold of the rubber bands. Okay. This goes in here. And that goes Okay. 
Okay. This goes in there. This needs to go up. And this needs to close up on this side. Okay. Okay. Stay in. Stay in. Stay in. Thank you. Okay. Then we turn that. I'm guessing that this rubber band, yeah, that rubber band side needs to come here too. Come here, rubber. And again, the charity, we are taking part on that. Uh, the Art Twitch subreddit has so nicely put that together, which is pretty lovely, I would say. And, um, you know, I thought that I would like to help the kids too. I'm not making a good explanation here. My brain is kind of trying to process the rubber band part of all this. Okay, I think we got it now. Pretty good. Okay. Okay, our key is done. We can turn... Oh no, the rubber band is affecting the turn here. It turns automatically back now. That's what the rubber band is for. So the key turns back on its own. I see. It's still... It's creepy to me. Uh, time for another one of the little stoppers. This one. Bloop. Where does this little stopper go into? Right there. So that the key doesn't entirely move out. Which side? Uh, this side up and... Can I make out which side is the... The inserting side? Does it matter? Which side is that? I mean, there's no real differences here. Well, no, there is a difference here. Okay, this side is the one. Okay. Eh. In you go. Yeah. There we go. Now the key can't move out anymore. And it works. Weapon of robbery destruction. Indeed. All right, then we need to put some stickers on it so that the camera can make out. No, there is no real door on this apartment. We're just gonna blob it in and we're gonna turn it, I suppose. Once it's time. Done. Okay, let's add the finishing touches. Okay. Let's add in one of the long strips up here. It goes... Uh, we need four stickers on the side. First place, one down there and along the thin side. Okay, the thin side is over here. Eh. Okay, right there. Eh. Beautiful! Okay. And then that goes on the long side. Right there. Okay. I'm just making sure where it's taking them from. It's taking them always from there. Okay. Up here. Come on, sticker. Beautiful. No, no, not beautiful. Mm, kinda beautiful. Beautiful enough? Mm, no, not beautiful enough. <sighs> eh, sticker placement is hard. Come on. Come on. All right, and then on this side, so that the camera can make out what we're doing with it. Perfect. Whew. All right, our key is stickered. Does it need any other stickers? Yeah, two on the lower. They go at the very end of the key. 
<laughs> Nissan gets a clump. Isn't that lovely? So that they can make out that it's the key that's going in. Yep. Right here. Right there. Beautiful! Kinda! It could be better, but it is. It is what it's said supposed to be, so ha ha! Ahem. Beautiful. Is what I'm trying to say. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright. Well, no. This one needs. This one could be a little better. Alright. There we go. Our key is stickered. And turning. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Alright, so with that, we have the key. We have the button. And we have the crank. We have done some good progress. And the house, of course. The house is, of course, not decorated yet. So the house isn't ready yet, but... You know. Oopala, what is that? That's all the stickers we need for now. You need the rest to make other things, so store them safely. Okay, storing them safely. Right in the same bag we got them from. Thank you. And as usual, it is time to test our theory. I mean, not the theory, but you know. There we go. In it goes. It turns. It goes out again. It goes in again. It still turns. Yep. That is a working key. The key block is complete! The next step is the last one. Feeling ready? Then remove the block from the house. Okay. Feeling ready for the last step. Time to attach the Joy-Con. Oh yeah. Get your controller and the right Joy-Con ready. Right here. Right one. First insert, insert the console. Okay. Console is wait eh, getting ready to be inserted. Stay, please stay. Okay, one moment. I need to put the tab in. Okay, how are we inserting it super safely? Just from up above and in. Knock knock, coming in. Okay, carefully. You go in there, sweetheart, really carefully, okay? Thank you, honey. And we are in! And I suppose we could oop, voila, turn this thing around a little bit so that you guys can see it a little better. Ta-da! We are in. Also, it's really shiny here. There we go. And then we are putting the right Joy-Con into the chimney. Right up there. Just that way. Alright. Right Joy-Con. Right up here. Eh, bloop. Perfect. It's in. Done. Toycon house is ready! Who would be living inside? You guys wanna play now a little bit before we decorate or should we decorate first? I feel like we should decorate now. <laughs> the house is ready! It is ready! But I kinda feel like it could have, you know, a little bit of personality before we give it a go. Up in the chimney of the Timo. <laughs> Decoration sounds fun. It does. Let's let's leave that success music just playing for a little bit longer and and let's start giving it some some personality here. At least the blocks, if nothing else. How about? <laughs> of course, I don't have the best decorating. The button could need something. It could also actually need an actual sticker because I. I'm not very artistic, let's be honest here. We could have an actual sticker on that. Because I have a lot of stickers. 
Like a, maybe a little butterfly or something like that. Make a little... Oh, a cat! Actually, I think it's a cat. Yeah, we're gonna make, put a cat sticker on that. And then we're gonna actually start adding some other stuff in. Uh, as long as we have been streaming. We have been streaming for two hours now, so it took around two hours to put together. Although we, we did something else first. We did a little Joy-Con holder first. Come on here, sticker. I know you want to. I want a little cat on this. Who needs Nintendo specific things when you can put a little cat on it? <laughs> there we go. I'm just leaving the music there. The music can just keep on playing while we're doing. It's a house! It is a house, indeed. Indeed, it is a house. Now we are also testing how well this actually colors here. Yeah, it colors pretty well. Sadly, I don't have any actual coloring blocks. So we're gonna do it with a actual, you know, little pen here. Not the most effective, but hey, as long as it gets the job done eventually, right? And it, it only needs to be hunted at that it was actually personalized before we use it. So you're going to move into that house? Uh, no, we're not. We're a little too big for that house. But a little critter is gonna move into it, I believe. And we will see what kind of little critter it is later. Just kind of advancing here. Putting a little bit of tiles in before we start in here. Dun, ba, ba. <laughs> I like the music going on in the background, just like, yeah. We're totally cool here. This yellow is totally not gonna show anywhere in the world, so I'm not gonna use it again after this. Yeah, this yellow is not gonna, not gonna live here. This yellow pretends to be a tile, but it is not a strong enough color here. Da that is a better, stronger color. Shoop, doop, doop. There we go. Da ba -ba. I'm gonna actually let the switch search up on the loading dock, it, it will still have, you know, plenty of energy for the rest of the evening, but I think we're gonna switch to some random music in the background while we're doing this. Pink. We need some pink. There we go. It's gonna be rainbow tiles. Rainbow tiles all the way. And as big tiles as I can make, too. There we go. Um, according to the mixer, it could even be a little louder. There we go. That's kind of the point of Labo, isn't it? Adding some touch of uh, personality to things you create. I mean, sure, the point of Labo is also to learn to create, especially for kids. That, you know, they get to put things together for the first time and get to be really amazed at, Yay! I did a thing! And it feels good! But at the same time, you know, the point is also that, you know, the creation that you made, it is yours! It's entirely yours. No one is gonna make as horrible roof tiles as I am. I mean, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> and therefore, this is gonna be a very unique little cine creature house. Which we probably will write on the front to cine creature house. Probably. 
Also, I should probably come a little closer so you guys can actually see when the tiles are being put in. I didn't actually pay attention to that, but yeah, I was a little too high up there that you would have seen that. There we go. This is a house! This is a house. Surprisingly enough, it is a house with some gadgets to it. I wouldn't have expected that very easily. There we go. This is actually kind of fitting music for house tiling, oddly enough. It feels very French. What is the name of this? Accordion in France! Of course it is! Accordion in France. At least there is definitely no other similar labo house in the whole white world. Yeah, I mean, other labo houses will also have roof tiles, I would assume. Just, you know, a very, very big assumption there, I know, but let's be honest here. Uh, but none of them will be as badly tiled as this one. This one will have all kinds of color tiles. It's, it's kind of like... Um, like a witch's house, if you think about it. <laughs> You're a house, Dark. <laughs> wow. You're a house, Dark. You sound almost like Rick. You're a house, Dark. No, I'm not. You're a house. Okay. Phew, green. Or, uh, this is actually teal. Teal. We're gonna put some teal here. Speed! <laughs> Make it look more crazy! Make it look more like a kid! Because I, I am a big kid, let's be honest here. A big kid coloring in a house, but hey, I'm a pretty, pretty happy big kid coloring in a house. There we go. Pretty happy big kid indeed. There we go. The tiles are going downwards. I also want to use every single color I own apparently. Because I keep on taking new colors instead of uh, using the ones I already use. Brr, brr. It's a rainbow house. It's a cool little rainbow house. And it's our little rainbow house. Our little hurricane rainbow house. <laughs> da, ba, bum, bum. Don't ask me what that tile is supposed to be over there. The tile itself doesn't know what it is supposed to be over there. I don't want to touch the tiles that we just wetted. I'm gonna have color, colorful hands if I do that. And I'm not, not necessarily looking forward to that. There we go. The tiles are getting bigger and bigger the lower they go. I wonder why. Alright! Because I remembered I need to tile a whole house this way. What is you guys' favorite colors? On a random note. Mine is blue. Then again, I'm kind of jinxed to like blue because Cine is actually a short version of my name and Cine is also the short uh, for the word Cininen, which means blue in Finnish. You know, as a fun fact for anyone who hasn't heard that fun fact before because we have said that quite a few times. Let's put some black tiles. We're not not gonna have black tiles in here. Black is as much part of the color spectrum as any other color. There we go. In you go. 
You've always liked the color green, just like Rick then. Then let's get some more green in there, shall we? How about this one? Vloop! Like I said, the tail tails are gonna get bigger and bigger as we go lower and lower. This one is a little bit more coloring in. This one is a little slighter than the most of the other colors. This one is a little, a lot slighter than the other colors, actually. There we go. Bow, bow, bow. Mm. I guess this is... This is gonna squeeze in here because I made that random random tile down there for whatever reason. There we go. It's a squeezed tile. A squeezed red tile. And we can have a humongous green tile right here. Whoever tiled this uh this roof was pretty terrible at it, of course. The little creature in the house has always been saying how terrible the roof tiling process was. I just... It gave up eventually, but the contractor was like, Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm gonna have all kinds of color tiles up there. Some rain is sometimes gonna come in. Whatever. I'll, I'll live with it, I, with it, I guess. You guys are such but anyway in your... Eh. Customer service. I'm not interested in dealing up with it. Uh, dealing with it anymore. Hmm, yeah. That's exactly what the creature said. Don't you question it. There we go. Also, for some reason, the overlapping of the tiles is also a little bit weird. That's that's also something the contractor did. Not my fault at all. At least it's colorful. At least it's, it got that going for it. Right? <laughs> hey, Derek! How you doing, sweetheart? Lovely to see you here. How's your day today? There we go. Just kind of setting this in nicely. Getting some pink in there. Getting some love in there. I would also again like to remind on my own that we are indeed taking part in the charity uh, event that uh, the subreddit put together. Which is why I'm here. I mean, sure, there are other subreddits taking part in this event as well, but... Um, we definitely are here because of the subreddit. It is a charity event for St. Jude's um, Children's Research Hospital, which is basically a charity to, you know, gather money to help research uh, cancer and other life threatening diseases and child childhood things, and, you know, otherwise, too, in general. Which I think is a very good cause for us to be in. Looks like royal purple. Uh, what's with a sweater? Oh, it's it's purple. Yeah, I I guess it's royal purple. I'm I have never been very good at uh, distinguishing the different colors from each other. Sometimes. There we go. But I'm. Not violet? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a color expert, let's be honest here. I couldn't tell you what I'm putting on this roof, so... Necessarily what what I have on my sweater isn't a big thing either. <laughs> Purple is one of your preferred colors, that's lovely. I, I don't think I have a color I absolutely dislike. I mean, brown can be nice too, in the right 
uh, depending on where it is seen at. Like for example, in, in the fall, there are some lovely uh, oranges and reds and browns all over the place. Fall is a very lovely looking time. Speaking of which, let's put some more brown on this. Doink. There we go. But yeah, as I was talking about the charity, uh, exclamation mark charity will tell, give you the explanation about it. We have every hour a little reminder text about it as well. As well as, you know, the donation link, the Tiltify link, since Tiltify ensures that it does go directly to St. Jude's and not, for example, to me or anything like that. There is no way of uh, getting scammed <laughs> donating towards from there. <laughs> Indeed, every color can look pretty in the right setting. Da -da -bum -bum. I really like these royalty tr uh, free tracks, to be honest. <laughs> if anyone ever wants any, uh, royalty free music maker is the uh, artist that has put together a lot of uh, royalty free music from, you know, all kinds of genres, and I just randomly have all their music playing in the background. There are some really, really um, short and some really repetitive ones in there too, but still. Magic is available if anyone wants to take part in that. Exclamation mark magic and a jelly bean amount from 1 to 50. Be aware that you are betting your jelly beans, so check with exclamation mark beans how many you have before you bet. There we go. We're getting towards down there. Can you sell your sweater to me? Uh, no. That that would be odd, Dark. That would be a slight bit odd. I'll just say that this is a humongous, humongous style here that also goes over whatever that is. Yep, yep. We we really are bringing a childish charm to this house. This house has a definite childish charm about it. But hey, I I like it. To be honest, I like the bloops that we have so far. And lots of blue. Chip, 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 chip. I kind of wish I had like actual coloring tag decks, but not really. I wonder how do my hmm. I could do one tile in highlighter and see how that goes. Is it free size? Free size? What? You mean what size my sweater is? Let's see if this works. Uh, not enough, so I feel. Yeah, not enough, so it's a little weird. Suddenly, there is a tile that is made out of highlighter. It is a special tile. It was imported from Highlighter Land. <laughs> the most special tile of them all. Definitely not a good tile, though. It is a very derby tile. Yes, your sweater. Um, it's either S or M. And that is European sizes. Not American ones. If, if it was an American sweater, it would be S. Because you guys have really bigger, um, bigger sizing. Like, uh, American M is a lot bigger than a European M would be. For example. Just saying. Alright, we are getting to the end of these tiles. There's a little bit of green. That This is actually a really lovely green that I'm putting on this edge here. I really like it. Ha! 
I wonder why, Dark. Oh, do I wonder. There we go. This part needs a little bit. Let's get a little bit of gray in here. Bum, bum. Hmm, actually, let's get some yellow in this corner. It's not gonna show a lot because it's yellow, but I'm still gonna get this corner in here. Just kind of yellow it out. Poro linings. I, I don't know what a poro is to you. In Finnish, poro means deer. <laughs> in Finnish, poro means deer. And that is all I see in what you're saying right now. I just, I just imagine that you're talking about the deer right now. Ooh, this is a really bright blue. Okay. But yeah, so I have no idea what you're actually talking about. Poro means nothing but dear to me. Oh, it's from LOL? Please tell me that Poro is a deer. It should be a deer if it is. It really should be a deer. There we go. We have one side pretty much done. I'm gonna put one last color here. For this side. There we go. Hey, Anki Dunk. <laughs> you and your little amazingness. There we go. Oh, look at that. Da da! <laughs> there are colors. It is a very colorful little roof. Except on this side. On this side, there's one sad little red dot. We are gonna use the grays up here, and then I'm gonna just mix around the all the pens and randomly take whatever I get from the pens. And that's gonna be how we color in the last one here. Just kind of two different grays starting us off. Over here, this gray is actually pretty close to the gray that the the roof is. Okay. By the way, of elimination, ooh, there are no song requests going on. Dark, for the simple reason that I don't want this uh, bot to be muted. So therefore, we are gonna just listen to the royalty-free music here. Well, we're not, you know, building. When we are building and when we are playing, we, of course, listen to Switch's own sounds. Yep. Nope, nope. This one is starting out a little green. Well, actually, this is... This is not as much of a green as it is a teal. This one now. Yeah, this is definitely more of a teal than a green. Taking up color, not really paying attention to what color it is. What is the name of this? Just am ambient beads, okay. Well, I know exactly what kind of ambient beads these remind me of, but there we go. Now it got a little bit better in the feel of it. No, no, it's still there. Well, it is a house we're making, I suppose. Surely it has a bed in it too, but jeez. Do 
Do you like miniature display? What do you mean? Eh, uh, I'm not gonna put a brown in. Just gonna mix it up a little bit as I randomly take a color, which will be pink. Getting the pink in now, slowly but surely. There we go. Oh, those kind of things. Um, I mean, I don't have any strong feelings about them. I was, by the way, right. The tiles are getting bigger and bigger every time. <laughs> There we go. Da -da. Just get it in there. That almost looks like a dragon thing. Ow. There we go. Poking things. The only way I know how. Poking things. We need a little bit more green, I would say. This house has not had too much green. There is one green. Over there, there has been some kind of blues. There we go. Just right through there. Thank you. Dun -bum. Green. You. Come over here. Meow. <laughs> These are definitely the children's coloring tactics going on here. Children's coloring tactics just flail wildly until it seems colored somewhat. Oh, come on. Ooh, this is a nice... This is a blood red, actually. Yeah, this is a blood red color going on here on this tile. Not that I mind. I really like the color, but jeez. What did you unbox? What else? The Nintendo Labo, of course! Which we, I mean, are putting some stuff together on right now and all that. That's what I unboxed. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Or maybe it's just me, but it seems to make a lot of sense. <laughs> da -da. Whoop. That uh, turned out a little bit weird because the house was running away from me as I drew the line. Not that it matters, all the tiles ended up a little bit weird, but... And a little bit bigger than on the other side. This is like the huge tile side. Like I said, the contractor was a little weird. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's take this color. This looks like a little, really deep purple. Although it translates more into a really deep blue. Yeah, it translates more into a deep blue than a purple. Ta -da. Bum, bum, bum. Meow. 
heart. I say. As I my scribbles all over the place. <laughs> Squibble art. It's art too. So I hear. Gonna go down on that side. Ooh, this is this is our orange. I'm, I was surprised by that. <laughs> hey, teabagging. What's the face for? What is the face for? The scribbles. Well, I mean, the scribbles aren't that terrifying. Jeez. This is, you know, scribbles. Scribble art. I'm sure that's a art form of some kind. The most scribbliest of arts. Um, we have no yellow on this side. Yellow doesn't really show strongly, but we can't just, you know, not have yellow on this side. Just gotta put it extra strongly that it actually stands out on its own. There we go, now it stands out a little bit on its own. Let's get this one. What is this? Accordion girls, okay? Accordion girls. This one is gonna be mostly here. Ah, it was lovely having you here, Gravitary. I hope you have a lovely day. Or as lovely as it can be, sweetheart. I wish you everything well. This actually sounds like it could be from a schlager, to be honest. Some kind of odd schlager going off here. I could see it. There we go. This is gonna be the biggest part of this whole endeavor of... Uh, Making this house a little bit more our own. After this, we're pretty good, but this part's gonna just take a while. But I mean, it would be a shame to leave the ha roof just white, wouldn't it? I can't be the only one thinking that. Nice old guitar vibe. Lovely. There we go. Going through as well as we can. Alright. Uh, we already used that one. I think that one too. Um, this one. This is gonna be our edge tile here. A huge purple edge tile. It's probably a bad idea to make the egg styles for us, but eh. It's just for now. There we go. Is this a blue or a grey? This seems to be a light blue. Oh, I, I think I used... No, I didn't use this one earlier. It's just very close color-wise to the earlier tile. I see. Here too. This is 
is an odd underlaying tile. Very odd one. All right. Way. Mm -hmm. Oh, downwards, thank you. Dun. Flop, 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 flop. Clown plays accordion. Okay, I don't know if I see that or hear that, but that is apparently the name of this one. Clown plays accordion. The French accordion was spot on, naming wise earlier. All right. And there is our other side. There we go. The roof is colorful now. I'm pretty happy with that. And the chimney. Could be a little darker. Oh, where's the black? There's the black. Yay! Colors! Indeed! I think it's a pretty big yay. And we're just gonna scribble shimney over here. Well, no, we're not gonna scribble like a shimney the word on here, but... Just gonna scribble it in black. Gonna give it a personality, personality chimney, you know, as you do, the personality chimney. Dun, 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 dun. Which is an odd explanation, but still, personality chimney. Just so it has a little bit of texture to it, while, while the whole of the thing, uh, of the roof is already textured anyway. Little brown scribbles to, you know, symbolize that it's a chimney. And there's gonna be some chimney stuff coming out. Which is smoke. In case anyone was wondering. There we go. Round scribbles for the chimney. Perfect. <laughs> and if we wanted, we could cut totally crochet some little things otherwise here, but ah, uh, no. That is that is a little darker color wise this one. I don't know if uh Well let's use a purple here. Um uh, ba 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 City Creature House. I'm really bad at hearts. I have always been bad at hearts. There we go. Ta da! It's the Cine Creature House now! <laughs> Sponsored by the Nintendo Labo. <laughs> Not sponsored, by the way. Do you want to join us? I I don't care for LOL. I'm not even a little bit interested in LOL. Now, let's uh, get rid of these for a moment here longer. That would be too much work right now. I'm just gonna put them in this little area here. Huh. Maybe put one little egg, additional heart. <laughs> hey, Mutti! How you doing, sweetheart? Cool house you have here. Thanks! I just made it! 
myself. Actually, it's just decorated. We're gonna put little hearts here but once they don't fall. The little hearts is gonna be the mo most greatest cine creature house ever. And then we can actually look what our creature looks like. <laughs> but our creature has a very cozy house now. There we go. Ta-da! Now it even has little stickers. Little heart stickers. This is a mailbox. What? What are we talking about a mailbox now? Alrighty. Let's put these things away. Handy dandy. I feel like that this is the only thing that I want to add anything to. The key is fine as it is. Man, I still find it interesting how all this work. Like, the button and all, it's just... It's, it's very satisfying after you have done it, you know? And it doesn't even matter what way around you do that. Set yourself up to stream Final Fantasy XIV! Lovely! I hope you enjoy it. Now we can take the Switch out again. And actually play whatever creature we have inside. There we go. In you go. Alright. We can play now. Ploink. Three, two, one. And play. Also, I need to move a little bit back here. Bring the thing with us. There we go. That's what our creature looks like. Now you guys see him. And I'm gonna be hidden behind the house for a moment, but that's okay. It reacts to where I'm tapping. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's like a Tamagotchi, but inside a house. Alright, let's see what these different things now do. Whoop! <laughs> a little creature flies. Alright, let's add in a button. There we go. Now the button is inside there. You guys get to see it too. See that little purple thing? That's the button we put in. Now we press the button and it becomes night time. We press it again, it becomes day time. Choop. 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 <laughs> Plan on streaming it in English and French, depending on the audience. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright, so we know what the button does now, on its own. Actually, let's make it the daytime. Our creature doesn't need to be sleeping while we're doing this. There we go. Daytime! Then we put in the crank. There we go. There's a little, a little sleepy thing there. And I'm guessing that would change if we're switching to the button on this side. Oh! Oh, I have both the button and the crank in and now we have a game! <laughs> we don't seem to have food there though. I'm not sure what we're doing with this game. Alright, apparently the creature can walk with this and we give it some food. Oh yeah, there we go, we got a jelly bean! Perfect! <laughs> Feed the thing with food you get. Remove the block to return to the room normal. Okay. So this way we get some food if we want to. I like still the little sound it does. Oh right, sorry guys, you didn't tell me that I still had the music on. There we go. That makes a little more sense to just hear the music from the Switch meanwhile. Faster! Faster little thing! Faster! Faster. I want to see what the top food and sting is. Actually no. Let's see what the blue one is. Or the green one. A snail! 
Does it eat the snail? That doesn't seem nummy. Alright. If we remove the crank now, we can switch the, the daytime. There we go. Switch the daytime. Touch to have uh, food to have to eat it. Doink. That is disgusting. Oh, hey, it turned color. So the jelly beans turn its color. We have learned. What about the snail? It can eat the snail too, it seems. Yeah, it just it just straight up ate it. And it turned color too. Oh, so that's how you turn color of your little petty pet. Cool. I think it's a little easier to see when it's night time. So we're going to put the button in again. Bloop. There we go. Switch to night time. Take our little key over here. Put it in. There we go. Oh, the key is of course a valve. Which we can turn to get some water in. There we go. And of course because it's the switch it can detect also what the way around it is. So you can move the house around to make the little thing splash in the water if you like. Which is, you know, silly. And then what happens if you take it out? Eh, eh, eh. There we go, the water disappears. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, so what if we connect this with the button? The button, Cine. There we go. Then we get into a new, different kind of mini game. Oh, this is huge. Yeah, it has a lot of things to it. When we press the button, bloop. The thing jumps. Oh no, I need to steer it, don't I? Okay. Yeah, oh god, no. Well, this is a little hard, the way I'm holding this. Okay, now I just jumped. Yep! Yep! Yeah! We got a jelly bean! To change colors again! And we can go again if we like. Just like that. I actually, oops, <laughs> jumping towards the bombs. Not a good idea. There we go. I'm not very good at this game, apparently. Nope, I jumped over it again. Well, I got a black jelly bean. Alright, so that's how this works. Uh, then we could switch the button with the crank. That is a combination we haven't done yet. Fun with the crank. Eh, once I get it in. There we go. Oh no, that was that was something we tried already. Uh, so in other words, crank and the key is something we haven't tried. Okay. There is also a thing on the lower one, so we can we can insert something from down here as well. This seems to be a microwave. What happens if you crank? Oh, you open and close. Oh, well, I just put some jelly beans in the microwave. Cool. Let's close the microwave again. And let's uh, turn it on, I guess. What happens to jelly beans in the microwave? They turn into a... Um... Into a food. They turned into a jelly bean food. I don't know the logic either, but it worked! It's, it's really adorable. I think I'm gonna play with this quite a bit, to be honest. I like Tamagotchi kind of things. So what happens... There we go. What happens if you eat it? Is this the magic ritual? Yes! Totally! Alright, let's feed our little ritual eaters. Here you go. Just eat it. Maybe. Hey. Oh. It's ready to go swimming, that's maybe why. There we go, it's eating it now, and it is... What? I don't know what that was supposed to be. Apparently it got little black parts on the ears. And again, the charity is indeed still 
a thing that we're doing. What happens if I put the crank down here? Oh, the crank down here does something different. It does a little wind thing here. So, if I have the crank down here and I put the button over here, what happens? Oh, we have an entirely different game! <laughs> or situation. Apparently we are looking at our little creature from all sides. Look at how pretty it looks. Isn't it a pretty creature? I think it is a pretty creature. Can you use all three? Yes, you can. But I'm testing out combinations before we do that. What does that do? I'm not sure what the button is supposed to do in this situation. It doesn't really want to do anything. What happens if I put it on the other side? This side. Oh, on this side, okay. The button gives it some smelly stuff and then it sneezes and it sneezes out the candy. So what happens if we turn it towards the the perfume? Hey, you want to take some perfume straight into your face? There we go, sneezes more beans. That it now ate. This is silly. Not that I mind it. Alright. And then if we put the, the key in now? A cute and classic TV set. Apparently the reception isn't great, so don't mess with it too much. Alright, so let's mess with it. We can zoom in with this one. Oh. The button turned into... Oh, you can keep using a pencil even when it's this short. Make sure to use the pencils to the fullest. A drawer with a really cute handle. Never mind, that is actually empty. Oh, I guess this is to look at different things, items in here. Interesting. Okay. So what happens if we remove this? Oh, that goes the other way around. That's not what I mean. Uh, put the button underneath here. Oh, well, we got some kind of new thing now. Apparently we get the creature from there and then we bonk it to play bowling. That's bowling. It didn't go very well. Probably because uh, we're moving also the the switch around. Let's let's try that one more time with this direction. No, no, there we go. We got almost all the pins, and we got another snail for that. Can we microwave the snail and the thing? What did it take to the microwave? I think it was this and the button. Or the crank. Was it the crank? No, this is something entirely different. I found a new game again! Hi there. Oops. Oh no. Okay, for this one I actually would have to do it like this because um, the button makes the creature jump and uh I need to do both the, both the rope and the jumping at the same time, so yeah, that's a little hard to do for me. What does the button do on its own? Oh, the button dispenses jelly beans! It's a jelly bean adventure! So now we can give it all kinds of colors. Um, is there blue? I don't see blue anywhere. Let's take a purple for the little earsies. There we go. And there is a snail here, but I want to do the microwave thing again. For which I need to remember, I think this was for the microwave. No? Oh, the crank was down here for the microwave because the microwave needs to turn. Aha! I think. No, wait, this isn't the microwave either. Help! 
I don't remember how to microwave. But I can shoot things. <laughs> button on the sides it was crank and button on the sides oh both of them on the sides yeah that could be man it's full of sweets now uh, not this way around maybe it was crank and this thing on the sides yeah there we go we got it now. Let's put all our food into one thing. There we go. All our food is in. Let's go to the microwave and see what yummy stuff comes from two snails and a lot of jelly beans, shall we? It is a yummy, great cupcake. I think. Let's open it. Ta-da! All right. How heavy is that, by the way? It's not that heavy. The main weight comes from the switch. So it's not that heavy at all. All right, sweetheart. It's time to eat. Let's uh, switch to daytime. This is a special time. Okay. All right, sweetheart. Go and eat that. Let's see what happens. It uh, went back to black earsies. It is back to black earsies and stuff. All right. I feel like we still haven't done all the options either. What happens if we put key down here? Okay, this is also a new, new game. This time with a balloon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Apparently, this is how we move. Ah, help! No! Okay. Remember to move. Nope, I don't wanna. No, 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 don't, don't touch me! Phew! Look at that perfect dodging! By moving the whole thing again. Nope, nope, thank you. Uh oh. Whew! Perfect dodging. Uh oh. No, not perfect dodging. We got the 6 out of 10. And we got a little whatever that is. We will feed it to him. And see what it does. We will just take this out for that. Eat the soap! Oh, gosh. Oh, it's blue now! Oh, I like that. Alright, then let's put the key here again. And let's put the crank in here. Let's see what happens with this setup. It's just an explanation again. Okay. This explanation is for um the different games, I think. Maybe. No. Yeah, this is for the different games. No beach day is complete without playing ring toss or napping under the umbrella, whatever works. We haven't done ring toss yet. We have done all the other ones, but ring toss we haven't done yet. Ring toss sounds like we would have the button on the button. Not just games, it's just it's a cute little creature. And there's... Oh, oh no. Sorry. Oh, I, I got our creature stuck. Get out of there, honey. I didn't want that. There we go. <laughs> uh, toss. Toss sounds... Maybe this? No, that's not peach toss. Maybe like this? No, that's also not peach toss. Maybe with the button on the sides and like this? No. Or like this. Now, maybe with all three. That's just an explanation again. <laughs> yep. 
you know, we're just keeping on buttoning. At least we're confirming that our buttons are pretty... Pretty well buttoned, I would say. <laughs> but yeah, this is the house! I, I say I like it. I, I like the house very much. I'm, I mean, I, I kind of expected that I would like the house very much from the beginning because, you know, it's just, it's just the kind of stuff I usually like. What does this do? Ooh, what is this? Oh, it changes the background. You guys see that? A camo feeling. Um, I s I'm searching for which one I like the most. I think I like this one the most. <laughs> Just double checking again. Oh, there we go! I found the last game! I found the game that we were missing. It is indeed ring toss. You have to try to get the rings onto the, these things. And also you have to, you know, you also move the house around because that's also part of it. It's just, it's, it's a good way to show what the Switch can do because the Switch on its own already you know, has effect on all these, to removing these. This reminds me a lot of, did you guys ever have when you were kids, those water filled tanks? Where you had rings in those water filled tanks and you tried to, you know, push the rings with um, some air up, up and into the, into the, um, the sticks. I had one. I just, I can't explain it very well right now, but it's a thing. So-called snow globes? No, not snow globes. Not those at all. Oh, that kind of. Yeah, you, you remember them now? What they are? I'm not very good at this game. But yeah, that's the house. I think we are now gonna leave our creature behind and do some other work here, but man, do I enjoy this house a lot. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sweetheart. We got the house done! Discover more about the house. What more can we discover about the house?